All right, hello everybody, Zaxter99 here with a first impressions review on a game called Containment Initiative. This is a PC standalone. So this is a VR game, guys, that uh, they made for VR that comes in at $9.99, but they made a version of it that you can buy for only 99 cents. And uh, I came across this just, you know, kind of browsing Steam. Last night I went ahead and bought it. And guys, uh, you know, I fully expect this game to get a really bad review, especially looking at the trailer. It looks pretty damn bad. But I wanted to go ahead and take a look at it, especially the price tag, 99 cents, kind of interesting to me that they're selling a, you know, basically a non-VR version of the game for a tenth the price that their VR version costs. So this game only has one review right now. It's a negative review, it says it needs work. So we don't really know a lot about this game. Uh, except that we can buy the PC standalone that doesn't require VR for a small fraction of the game's price and probably get the same kind of content without VR. So that is the intriguing part of Containment Initiative. It's made and published by Gwyn Games, and this is their only title on Steam. So, the question is, is Containment Initiative, a game that came out a little more than a month ago, worth your dollar, your 99 cents, for the PC standalone? We're going to take a look at that and give this game my score, a game I expect to do really bad, right after this. Alright guys, welcome back. We are launching it. It launched with a standard Unity, uh, you know, launcher we've seen it a million times and then it comes up to this screen pretty quickly there's not a lot of load time or anything like that and remember guys this is just the 99 cent pc standalone for the single player we are not going to have vr crossplay. that is a 10 dollars uh, version of the game that you know requires vr which i don't even have so we come down to our options take a look at that uh controls we have left mouse uh, our mouse to aim left mouse to fire right mouse to use a scope in uh, sniper mode f is to melee on the ground or f is also to zoom in sniper mode isn't that the same thing yeah they, it seems to me they should have tied right mouse button to melee as well why not use your right mouse button to melee rather than requiring you to hit the f key I know left mouse button is to fire your weapon, but if you're wanting to do melee, why not tie that to your right mouse button? It would seem easier. Maybe it'll work. We'll try it out. Uh, move is WASD and R to reload. Aim sensitivity, we're just going to leave that alone, and if you want to invert your Y axis, you can do that. And you can uh, map a controller right here. Uh, okay. It looks like you can map a controller. Actually, let me take a look. Controls. Yeah, you can map a, you can use a controller on this game. Cool. All right. We're just going to be using the, uh, we're going to be using the standard keyboard and mouse. All right, music on or off, and then weapon uh, skin toggle. What is that? Uh, it requires six objectives to be completed to unlock it. Okay. Cool. All right, let's just go ahead and do the only version we can, single player. But now we have a mission. Now I have played this for just a second before uh, I played this game to make sure everything worked. I shot a couple of zombies. Uh, seems to work okay, so it looks like I earned 135 cash. I don't know if that's gonna buy us anything. But look at this, guys. I looked at this uh, when I played the game for like five minutes to start with. Uh, you have several different missions that you can choose from. So the first one is a factory ground operation. This is where you're going to be doing melee to try to uh, have, you know, keep from having to use your gun because gun creates more noise and it's going to attract more zombies. But in this uh, mission you have to run around and explore the area and collect 10 supply crates and uh, deliver them to a certain area. You can do the second mission is a bridge sniper operation. We have a downed helicopter in the area protect it until help arrives so you're going to be stationary looking above at a downed helicopter and preventing the zombies from getting to it uh, you want the helicopter to take no damage and then downtown ground operation again explore the area collect supply crates keep your gun fired to a minimum same kind of thing Ten so just a different map if you would same kind of ground mission different map uh, 
Again, more sniper uh, missions here. Uh, provide sniper support so that our wounded can escape the safe house. And you want the safe house door to take no damage. And then back down, or no, another sniper mission, reduce the number of infected in the area. You'll be deploying uh, from a high vantage point. Take your time and make those shots count. And this is the one I tried for a minute. I killed 27 zombies, and I think that's how I earned the 135 cash that I earned. This is the only one that I've tried so far, guys. And it wasn't bad. And then we have another um, mission here. This is a ground operation. Uh, we've gotten word the scientists were working on a cure of this location. I try to get down there and find any samples of the virus. So, six different missions, guys. We're going to go ahead and try this factory, just the basic first one, uh, in this video. And I might show you another one in the video as well. But we're really just looking for kind of a first impression score of the game. We're not looking to play the full game. You know, start to finish and beat every level or beat every mission to give it a score. Remember, like all my first impression scores and first plays on launch days and stuff like that, this is only, you know, playing it enough to kind of give it a basic idea of how the game scores, at least in my book. Mostly, ba you know, based on value. So at 99 cents, guys, uh, again, when I first saw this on Steam and I bought it, I fully expected this game to do really bad. But we're going to go ahead and give it a good test here and give it a honest score. Uh, we're going to go ahead and select this one. And uh, again, this is if you want to select the mission. We've already done that. So, upgrades. Okay, we need to select a weapon first. Back, a weapon. We have a 9mm pistol. It does 8 damage. Uh, has a noise factor of 8. Holds 15 rounds in the magazine. And then you can upgrade. This one costs 250 I don't have near enough money for this. It does more damage, but it also creates more noise as well. Uh... Quite a bit more noise for just a little bit more damage, and the magazine doesn't hold as much. I don't even know if that'd be worth it to me, to be honest with you, uh, buying. Uh, this one holds 20 magazines, a uh, SMG. Does, again, only a little bit more damage, uh, but it shoots really fast and doesn't have a ton of noise. So that one's kind of expensive, but that one might be worth it. This one here it might be worth it. Holds the same number of rounds in the magazine. Noise is 10 damage is 10 so it does a little more damage uh, for not much more noise so that's probably the first one I'd try to get at 600 yeah that's the only options available we're gonna go ahead and equip this one this one's free and we're gonna go ahead and deploy because we can't afford anything now one thing that I'd like to see is you have melee options in the game to melee but the game doesn't offer you any kind of like machetes or bats or uh, you know anything like that? I think it would be cool if it offered you axes and machetes and bats and stuff like that to to take these guys out So I think that would be great, you know melee upgrades for the game, but it doesn't seem to have that All right guys, I'm getting my first look at this particular mission here. This is a ground mission um, Take all crates to the drop-off point on the second floor then call for extraction. Oh, okay So here's a crate right here E. Oh, we're not going to be able to shoot or fight or anything while we're carrying this thing. Well, we better hurry up. Okay, shift slows me down, so you're automatically running. Oh, God. Not good. Let's try to get around this guy, maybe. Oh, around that guy. I took 40 freaking damage from them two hits. God, these guys are tough. Okay, so we obviously put them right here. E. One. Can I go ahead and hit E to extract? Time until exfiltration. Okay, so you can deliver just one at a time if you want to. That's cool. 50 seconds. Okay. So you don't have to get all 10 if you don't want to. Nice. I want to try to melee this guy. Right mouse button doesn't do anything. I'd like to see these guys add right mouse button for melee to this game. There's a few things I'd like to see these guys do. I can't afford to take any more hits. There we go. I feel like you're going to get pretty good at this melee. I'm not good at it yet. Well, I'm doing, not doing bad, I don't guess. I haven't taken any more hits. This guy might be tough to melee. Eh, maybe not bad. He hit me though. 20, 20 pit. Mission complete. Oh, so... I only did the one. I 
so you earn whatever money uh, for whatever crate. So you want to do that mission again. We want to go ahead and do that mission again. Weapons. We're going to go ahead and equip the same weapon. I'm not going to buy that $250 gun. No way. Let's see if we can get a couple more boxes up there. The music isn't bad. I like that you can earn money though, like if you don't want to have to get all 10. I don't know how many zombies there are going to be. I'm getting a little bit of lag right now, guys. That's not good. Again, try to avoid the urge to uh, hold down shift because that's going to make you go slower. You're already running by default. Yeah, getting a little bit of a uh, slowdown here in the game. Like I didn't see this, I didn't feel this lag the first time. Um, guys, let's go ahead and fucking extract this shit just to get money for it. E. Oh, it's already going. Okay, I'm because I'm gonna quit this game here. I'm gonna get my credit for my one thing. And uh, too bad you don't get points or anything like that for killing these zombies. But yeah, it's really lagging, so I'm gonna probably have to restart the game or something. It's worth 75 cash. Okay. This guy's moving really fast. Yeah, I can't play this game when it's lagging like that. I don't know what's causing that lag. That's not good. Ugh. It's terrible. I don't know if you guys can see that in the video or if it'll be able to be seen in the video, but it's lagging really bad. Like, I'm going from... I'm at 70 frames per second right now, 88 frames per second, then it drops all the way down to 7 at times. That's horrible. Okay, so I got my credit for my one crate. I now have 365, so that's all working. I don't know if I need to, like, completely restart the game. We might have to, I don't know. We'll just try it again without restarting the game. Like the first time I had no lag at all. And the second time it was just lagging out. Really weird. Okay. Yeah, we're still lagging guys. All right, so let's just go ahead and back out of this shit. And let me quit and relaunch the game. Relaunch the game, here we go guys. We're going back into the same mission, try it out. much better all right so you get some lag sometimes guys if you do it looks like you have to restart the whole game like if it starts really like right now i'm showing on my steam fps counter i'm showing 240 frames per second before i was getting anywhere from like 5 to 80 makes a big difference i mean i think 80 is plenty it's just that i was getting oh we got some more over here i was going all the way down to seven for some reason Probably just not a very good, you know, it's probably not very well optimized. Or something. I'm going to try to get all ten of these things here, I think. Oh, I like how it stacks it for you. That's cool. Alright, melee attack. Get the fuck out of here, bitch. Get your slow ass out of here. Oh. Fuck you, bitch. Oh, she hit me. How did that not hit him? He can't hit me with... Oh my god. This guy's so fast. Got him right before he hit me. Oh, how did she hit me? Bullshit. You are one ugly woman. Boom. Fuck you, bitch. Yeah, that girl is fucking ugly. Okay, there's another crate. Bam. Get this shit over. Guys, this is actually pretty fun. I can't lie. This is not a bad little game for the price. 
Like, I don't know how the $10 version is in VR, but this PC standalone is not terrible, as I expected. Get out of here. I kind of like that you have to kind of weave out of the way of these little bastards. I mean, yeah, you're going to see the same zombies, and uh, I have no problem with them using assets or cheap assets or whatever from the Unity. I mean, it would it look better if they had bought better freaking assets? Probably. Oh, God. I'm getting fucked up. Ah, oh, man, that guy messed me up. Damn it. So I should have extracted those four or five crates I already had there because now I got nothing. So kind of like greed plays a part of there. Do you want to try to get all ten and try to get the big reward for getting all ten at once? Or are you going to take your two or three or four at a time, uh, you know, for the money? I kind of like that. Let's go ahead and show you a different mission, guys. Uh, let's try this one. Got a down helicopter. Uh, this is going to be a sniper. I'm sure the next one's more. Yeah, we can't afford that shit. So we're just going to go ahead and do that. Deploy. And again, guys, we're just looking for a first impression score, remember. So we're just going to play probably a couple of these different missions and uh, give this game a score based on how I feel the gameplay, the overall gameplay is based on what I experienced. Obviously, this game's going to get hit a little bit for the lag and having to restart the game. Hopefully, we won't get that anymore, though. Helicopter Integrity 300. So that's basically the helicopter health, okay? And all we're doing is standing up here. I can't even move, guys. So all we're doing is standing up here trying to keep zombies from fucking up our helicopter. Okay. And we can zoom in here. There we go. There we go. Oh, you bitch. Oh man, I gotta fucking reload, really? It's fucked up. No! Don't hit my helicopter, you bitch! Oh man, I'm getting fucked up. Helicopter integrity, um, 70. I'm, I'm dead. Damn it. That one's hard. Shit, man. I'm sure we can do better. We're going to try that one one more time. To the developer, um, I would put a space in here between your dollar sign and your cash. Split that up a little bit. Uh, it looks kind of unprofessional. Also, I would make sure it goes back to whatever mission you last selected rather than starting back as a default. I mean, I shouldn't have to go back and reselect the same mission again from the starting mission. Uh, it should keep it on whatever my last mission was. I would make that change as well to the developer should they ever watch this video. Just trying to offer my advice and suggestions to these developers on how to make their game a little bit better. Nice shot there, Zax. Good one. I mean, are the graphics amazing in this game? No. Uh, are these probably really cheap or free assets on Unity? I don't know, probably. But is this game actually kind of fun? Yeah, it is. Uh, the, I was expecting this game to score like a 20% or lower, guys, to be honest with you. And here I am, I'm actually having fun with the game. Uh, it offers plenty of challenge. Actually, probably a, maybe more challenge than I was expecting. And, uh, oh, I guess, a, I guess the zombie was hitting the fucking helicopter while I was zoomed in on my sniper. That one's a tough mission. Let me go ahead and let's just go here. Midtown provides sniper support. Let's check this one out real quick, guys. This is the one I did before, and uh, it wasn't bad. And this is how I earned cash, just by shooting zombies. Didn't have to deploy anything, didn't have to deliver boxes anywhere, anything like that. Just shooting zombies from a safe point, and you make cash. I think this is the same one. We'll try it out. It's actually showing loading. I'm looking at my OBS. The recording still says deploy. Uh, I don't know why it's not showing the loading, but the game is loading right now. I have selected deploy already. Kind of weird. No, this is not the same one I had before. Before I was actually lower. But this should be the same kind of thing. Time remaining. Okay. 
Oh, uh, this is where I gotta protect the safe house. Okay, I gotta protect that house from getting hit by zombies. I like it. Okay. That one's moving faster. Cool. Shot him in the ass. Oh man, I gotta fucking. Re this is gonna be another hard one, guys. Fuck. You bitch. Sucks having to reload every fucking five seconds. Takes too long to reload. I'm already screwed. I'm already fucking screwed. Yeah. Damn, man. This, these, uh... These sniper missions are freaking hard. Let me show you the one I was doing before, guys. It was, um... This one right here. It starts with 100 infected that you gotta kill. And it gives you credit for each one you kill. This is the one that I was doing before. This one's actually kind of an easier, uh, sniper mission here. Maybe a good one to start out to actually earn some starting cash if you're looking to get a better weapon, which is going to help you, you know, with your other missions. So I would probably go to this one right here. I think it's the fifth mission. And uh, it says kill 100 infected to start with if you buy this game. And start here, maybe earn some money that can help you, you know, buy, like I said, buy a weapon to help you out on the other missions. And here, all we're doing is, uh, Killing freaking zombies, guys. Mm -hmm. There's one. Steady hands, there's axe. This one's kind of funny because they have their backwards uh, stumble physics. So even if you hit him in the back, watch her stumble backwards. See, look at that. I'm hitting her from behind, but she's stumbling backwards. It's kind of silly. Okay, but now I gotta reload. And I'll get credit for every zombie I kill, even if I don't succeed. Man, a lot of zombies coming out of here now. Nice. Reload. Damn, I like that slow motion impact. Pretty cool. Kill this big fat fucker. Yeah, this is, I'm having fun, guys. I, I can't I can't deny that I'm having fun. And I 100% I expected this 99 cent game when I looked at the trailer. I 100 expected this game to be a total piece of crap. I expected to have no fun at all. I expected the value to be really low in this game, even at 99 cents. And here I am. I think I'm going to be giving this game a lot higher score than I had figured. This is going to be one of those surprise games that comes out of nowhere and, and hits me for probably a good score. Boom. I'm not experiencing any more lag like the second time. I don't know if that was the game. I think it was the game. I don't think it was my computer or anything, but who knows. All right. Boom. I like the slow motion, how you get slow motion sometimes on these uh, shots. Here's that one bitch that was fucking me up in the melee mode. Take that bitch. Yeah, I mean, it's the same four or five, six a uh, asset zombies over and over and over again. But it doesn't mean you can't have fun, at least for a little while in this game, guys. Let's go ahead and give this game a score, guys, based on the three missions that we've looked at. Uh, I think the game offers plenty of challenge. Uh, the challenge, the fact that it's so hard is going to want to make you play again and again, to be honest with you. So, value, guys, six different missions. <laughs> the physics, I've never seen one fly up in the air like that. That was kind of ridiculous. But, uh, I like how he just walked right through that crate. Yeah. I mean, is there some bugs? Is zombies walking through walls and crates and shit like that? Yeah. Uh, they're walking right through each other as well, I'm pretty sure. Um, but the value here, guys, is pretty high for 99 cents. Again, we're only grading the PC standalone. We're not grading the $10 version of this game that's VR. 
uh, just the 99 cent version you can buy if you don't have VR like I'm playing right now. And value guys, I think you're getting a, quite a bit of value for your money here. Um, is it going to get boring after a while? Probably, but you do have six different missions to play. And the replay value is pretty high as well. I'm going to give this game a 35 out of 40, guys, for uh, value. A, a completely surprising score. Uh, that kind of blew me away. You don't find many 99 cent games that are actually fun to play. This is one of the uh, surprise, uh, surprise games like that, though. Shooting right in the heart. So 35 out of 40 for value, guys. How much fun is the game? This is going to be the subjective part of the score. You know, my 20 might be somebody else's 10 or somebody else's zero. It really depends on, you know, what kind of games you like to play and uh, your personal taste and stuff like that, what you expect from a game. Some people are wouldn't even, you know, spend 99 cents on this. They, if they paid a zombie game, they want like a triple-A title. This is definitely not a triple-A title, but in my opinion, you don't have to have a triple-A zombie game to have some fun with it. Uh, guys, fun on this game isn't bad for what it is. I think I like the different uh, missions that you can, uh, you know, do. I like the fact that you can try to get the headshots. I really like the ground missions where you're trying to deliver boxes upstairs and stuff like that. It really changes things up from these sniper missions. Uh, gets you down interacting with the zombies, melee attacks, and all that. I do wish the game offered, like, weapons for, you know, melee weapons and stuff like that. They could have made the game a lot better, in my opinion. And I'm out of freaking ammo, so we're gonna, just going to go ahead and radio for pickup here. And uh, I guess I'll get credit for all the zombies I killed before I ran out of ammo. So, fun game, uh, guys. I'm going to give this game a pretty high score on fun. I think it's pretty up there. I'm going to give it 22 out of 30 points for fun. Uh, I think that's fair. I think, for me, I'm having at least a 22 out of 30 for fun, especially with the different, especially the ground missions. I think the ground missions are more fun, even though they're more challenging. And, uh, yep, helicopter's there to do a pickup, and we got 145 cash. Cool, cool. So this is what I'm saying. This, this fifth mission here uh, is going to help you get cash so you can buy weapons. So 22 out of 30, I said, for fun. C controls and bugs. Guys, I'm going to count the lag against the game. I'm pretty sure that it was the laggy mission there was the game itself, and it required me to restart the game, and then it was fine. Uh, I do believe that's probably due to poor optimization somewhere in the code. Uh, or not, not working with my computer. But the fact is, is that if it's lagging like that on my computer, good chance that it could lag on your computer or somebody else's computer as well. So I'm gonna take points away for that. Um, also as well, I wish you could move a little bit faster. I wish there was something that could allow you to move a little bit faster. Uh, I think it would make it more fun. I'm talking about when you're playing the ground levels. Uh, but I'm not really going to hit it for points on that, it's just a preference. One thing I will hit it for is that the zombies are walking right through supply crates and at one point I saw them walk right through a wall earlier before I started recording. Uh, a zombie walked right through the corner of a wall, so that's bad. But I'm going to go ahead and give this game a fair score because, you know, the controls, the mouse and everything like that work just fine. And, uh, I mean, for what it is, it does a pretty good job. Uh, controls of bugs, guys, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take away the, I'm going to take away four points for the lag I experienced and having to restart the game. I think that's pretty bad. And then sometimes zombies just walk right through shit. I don't think that's great. I'm going to take a hit for another couple points there. Giving this game a 14 out of 20 for controls and bugs. Everything else is fine. And for the graphics and sound, guys, the music I like, the sound effects are pretty basic, but they do the job just fine. You hear the zombie growls, you hear the shots, you hear the impacts. I really, really like the slow motion effects when you hit somebody in the head or hit a zombie in the head and the head explodes and it slows down to a slow motion. Very cool effect. Uh, even though they've used, you know, probably cheap or free assets uh, for most of this game, I like the way they did it. I like the way they put it into a cohesive unit. And it's actually pretty fun to play. But the graphics and sound guys, I would give it a 7 here, but I'm going to take away a point because I'm pretty sure these are all some of the cheapest or even free assets that they get, you know, they got their hands on. I think they probably could have spent a little bit more money and got a lot better looking assets. Uh, but for what it is, I'm not going to hit them too hard. 6 out of 10 is my score for graphics and sound guys. So you add that all up guys for Containment Initiative, a game I expected to trash when I bought it at 99 cents. Gets a 35 for value, gets a 22 for fun, gets a 14 for controls and bugs, and gets a 6 for graphics and sound, guys. You add that all up, Containment Initiative gets a surprising 77%. Uh, that's a very high score. That's almost an 8 out of 10. And 
coming into this game, guys, looking at the trailer on the Steam page, I had completely expected a 20 or a 30 tops. But this game delivers. I think it's well worth your 99 cents. I can't say I can't recommend it. I do recommend it if you like these kind of games and you're not expecting a AAA title for 99 cents. I think you might have some fun with this one. This has been Zach's 99, my first impression score of Containment Initiative, a game that has completely shocked me and came out of left field and almost got a full 8 out of 10 score. 77 is my exact score, my first impressions score of this game. Let me know if you agree down in the comments below. Let me know if this video has sparked you to go buy this game. I'd love to know. This has been Zach's 39. Take care, everybody. We'll see you in the next video. Take care.